In the words of UNESCO, cultural diversity is the common heritage of humanity. If we're to promote and preserve our cultures, then film must be encouraged and shared. Through this initiative, we bring together the films and filmmakers and our respective cultures. The Motion Picture Association is proud to play a role in the partnering with APSA to create the MPA APSA Academy Film Fund, which serves as an incubator for this industry by supporting development of new films. At the Shanghai International Film Festival in June, EPSA and the Motion Picture Association launched a $100,000 MPA EPSA Academy Film Fund. The fund is exclusive to the members of EPSA Academy and is proud to support some of the region's leading filmmakers through this development fund. In the last four years, 360 film projects from the EPSA Academy members across the Asia Pacific have been submitted to this fund. From Turkey to Australia and New Zealand to Russia, grants have been awarded to projects throughout this great inspirational region. This scheme has helped to create some incredible films since it began, including a separation by Asghar Fahadi from the Islamic Republic of Iran. The film went on to make history, winning golden and silver bears at this year's Berlin Film Festival, the first Iranian film to ever do so. For best feature film, A Separation. <laughs> Which went on to receive, as we've heard, more than 50 awards, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. از ابسا تشکر می کنم که این موقعیت رو فراهم کرده برای فیلم سازهایی که این سوی دنیا هستند. Uh, the MPA APSA Film Fund has started to change the face of cinema in the Asia Pacific region in a very significant way. The fund provides financial support, recognition and moral support across the whole region from Pacific Island nations to Iran and Iraq. The winner of the UNESCO award, Memories on Stone from Iraqi Kurdistan. I would like to dedicate this award to my people in Kurdistan, which are in a new, tragic, bloody situation. This film, I get fund for a script in Asia Pacific Screen Awards. It was a difficult movie, and it takes two years to do. Now, the film is ready. We're delighted to award the $25,000 to is Iranian-born Swedish filmmaker Maryam Ibrahami for her project No Burkas Behind Bars. I'm the producer and researcher of the film No Burkas Behind Bars. It's very difficult for documentary filmmaker to start a project without fund, without financial support. MPA APSA Academy Fund paved this way for us. With their help, we could uh, travel back to Afghanistan again and start shooting the project. Asia Pacific is alive with vibrant and fearless filmmakers telling their stories. Just two weeks ago, we rejoiced in the success of a film from one of our most courageous filmmakers, Maryam Ebrahini's documentary, No Burkas Behind Bars, which won the prestigious Documentary International Emmy Award. Producer Zainab Ozbatur Atakan for her project No Tears. We have exciting work coming up in the future with a new film from Turkey from the producer Zainab Ozbatur Atakan, who produced Winter Sleep, the Palm Door winner from Khan. The best feature film is Tulpan. And Sergei Zvortsevoy from Russia has a new film partially funded through the fund that will be making an impact. The fourth recipient is Sergei Zvortsevoy for his project AIKA. I want to make a film about Moscow, about modern Moscow. It's uh, going to be a film about uh, an Asian girl living in Moscow, working in Moscow and looking for her child. The MPA APSA Film Fund is already having a huge impact on cinema across the Asia-Pacific region. 
and more films are coming out all the time. It's not just about the film, it's about giving a voice to the voiceless.